Glad you're staying with us on the final word on CNN Philippines. I'm Rico Hizon. What better way to spend the holidays than by reliving the music of the iconic OPM band? Eraser Heads will be the center of a new photo book looking back at their final show. To tell us more about alternate endings is former Eraser Heads frontman Eli Buendia. Eli, thank you so much for joining us on the final word. Hey Rico, thanks for having me. Definitely, uh, your fans would want to read and see this photo book. Who was the catalyst uh, for this project of your unforgettable reunion concert 11 years ago? Well, um, uh, after, right after the show, I immediately uh, approached my friend uh, Aldo Santos, mm. uh, the author, and I kind of pitched to him uh, the possibility of uh, sort of um, uh, doing a behind the scenes of, of the show because mm -hmm. it was a very you know a very monumental show for the band as well as the fans. So I think uh, there's also been a sort of uh, parang wala pa masyadong libro about music right. uh, and anywhere. So I guess it's also a, a, some sort of parang historical naren. Wow, 11 years it took to basically put this whole book together. Must be a lot of work because it's <laughs> photographs from so many people from on stage, uh, taking pictures on stage and off stage. Yeah, Aldous uh, Santos really did a good job. Parang he handled everything. Um, he, he talked to the, um, the photographers. He talked to the... He, he did a lot of interviews with, from... From the roadies up to the, uh, you know, the, the producers mm -hmm. and all that. So this book really uh, does belong to him. What is inside this book, Ellie? Apart from the hundreds of never before seen behind the scene photos. Well, there's a lot. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a very very um, meticulous account of uh, of the show, mm -hmm. right from the. Um, the conception of it, to the production, the meetings. Uh, like I said, even the uh, technical standpoint is, is tackled here. Mm. Like uh, you'll, you'll see some uh, uh, blueprints of uh, stage, the stage, and uh, even the, the equipment of the band. So yeah, uh, everything is here. You know, Ellie, I've been living overseas before I came back to the Philippines uh, for 25 years, but I totally remember this reunion concert of Eraserheads yeah. in 2009. I was in Singapore, yeah. and people there were talking about this uh, monumental uh, get-together that you had back then. Can you tell yeah. us, looking back 11 years, what would be the most... Uh, maybe three top specific moments that you will remember from this reunion concert? Well, um, leading up to the show, the band and, and our managers were actually very uh, concerned that no one would come mm -hmm. because um, the, the you know the ticket sales were not that good and uh, yeah we were really worried and then right up to the like five or ten minutes we still didn't know how much how many people mm -hmm. uh, came. The bandits went on stage, and then when I got to the stage, uh, I I was just awestruck by how how many people had uh, had attended the show. Thousands so, yeah, upon that, thousands of people, Ellie, were there on the concert yeah. grounds to watch this concert. And mm -hmm. Ellie, you and your former bandmates uh, Raymond Marasigan, Buddy Zabala, and Marcus and Adoro have all gone your separate ways. Last right. time you guys got together was about uh, four years ago. I'm sure, Ellie, yeah. uh, you and your former bandmates are not closing the book on another reunion concert in the future. Well, you know, uh, anything's possible. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, there has been a clamor and, uh, you know, uh, if it happens, uh, you know, then we'll probably do it if... Uh, 
If the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> the price is right. But now that I'm back in the Philippines after 25 years, Ellie, I would definitely want to watch that reunion concert if you have one live. <laughs> but personally, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but personally, Ellie, uh, what have you been uh, busy with during this pandemic? Have you been writing new songs, uh, producing new songs? Yes, I have. Uh, I haven't been writing, but mm. I have been producing a lot of uh, like artists mm. uh, that uh, we offer music are um, producing. I mean, interested in. Like uh, we we've, we've recently um, signed uh, this punk band called um, Suspiria Pink, mm -hmm. and they reminded me so much of the E Heads back in the day. So I really like them, and uh, we also uh, signed um, this Cagayan uh, mm -hmm. de Oro band, a rap rap hip hop group called Solo. So mm -hmm. yeah, I've been basically busy with producing. Um, artists. Emerging bands that will eventually become a staple in the music <laughs> yeah, industry, Ellie. So. Um, but yeah. you know what? Over the past nine months, Ellie, we've been hit hard by this pandemic and a lot of our Kababayans have been taking comfort in the uh, musical Bayanihan spirit and they've been listening to the songs of uh, Eraserheads. Uh, what message can you give for our Kababayans who are you know, challenged during these, uh, these, uh, during these uh, times? And as we, you know, um, face this uh, this uh, this COVID nineteen battle and the holidays just right around the corner. Well, I would like especially to um, uh, um, greet our uh, our nurses and our doctors, and of course, anyone who's ever. Um, had to um, be challenged by, by this um, pandemic. And I do hope na uh, we will soon find, uh, you know, a, va a vaccine. Or we do, but uh, I, I don't know if, if that will work yet. So, um, yeah, I'll, I just want to thank you all for, for supporting, especially especially the musicians mm -hmm. for supporting us. Thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word. Ellie Buendi of Eraserheads, and happy holidays to you. You too. Thanks, Rico. And we borrow lyrics from the Eraserhead song with a smile. Don't be scared of the things that could go wrong along the way. You'll get by with a smile. And that's the final word this Friday, the 11th of December. 14 days till Christmas. Join us again next week for news you can use, news you can trust. I'm Rico Hezon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Good night.